Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Monet here. Today I have a lock update for you guys. It's been so long since I kind of unpacked what's going on with my hair. You clicked on this video because it has been seven months since I've had an entire retie, which I know is just so bad. Like I'm sure you're like silently judging me through the lens right now like Monet girl seven months girl seven months it has been seven months since i had a retie um i kind of want to before i like give you guys a scoop on my hair i do want you guys to watch like kind of the progression of retying so i'm gonna start that now okay guys it is day one doing my hair we just did like an entire section here still have a lot to go Okay guys, it is day three working on this head. Um, I'll show you like um, how much we have left. Basically we just have like this top section. My mom says this is the longest section because I have the most hair there like at the top of my head. But we, my mom is killing it. Um, I'm just so excited because I can actually feel my scalp breathe. And I didn't realize that, you know, it's, I mean, I had a lot of new growth and just the difference of like feeling your hair being tighter, like just at the root, it just, it feels so good. I can't even like really describe it. It, I mean, I'm not gonna say my hair was mop, but like it, it's been seven months since I've had a full retie, which is literally insane. Um, I would say the condition of my hair is pretty, pretty good. Like um, not that much breakage, not that much thinning or at all. I haven't seen any breakage or thinning. The only thing I've seen is that I have like a whole entire row that basically combined. It's like six of them that I need to take out. And um, yeah, here they are right there. I'll show you guys. These are the like six, five or six, seven that I need to take out. You can see they're like pretty thick. Um, I don't know how they all decided to combine. Um, I took two out yesterday and they ended up being pretty thin. Um, you know, that's just natural because, you know, all the hair that would have shed, um, that would have been shed off or shed away. It's now combining a lot so of course it became really thin afterwards um and so i'm just a little bit worried just because so much hair came out but i'm not too like like i just have to remember that like it's gonna thicken up over time and i'd rather my grid be right versus having like some big chunky ones <laughs> like messing it up you know what i mean because my hair is gonna, it's gonna grow over time so i don't really like let that bother me too much um, but I do need to get those fixed. My hair is done as you can see like it is all retied like the whole head which is it feels first of all so great I'm so excited to like have my hair done and to be like yeah I can feel my scalp look at that you can see scalp we love it um, and first of all that in itself is when that we got through the whole head I do not know my lock count at this point in time let me know if you want to know how many locks I have so number one I did experience lots of combining are about probably 10 total that are combined in my head i was able to take out two or three with a whole lot of hair removal during the process which is not super fun but you know what it is what it is and this is what it this is what i'm experiencing during my journey is combining um we actually combined a couple in the front too just because like of a little bit of thinning um let me see if i can find it because I, I was like i showed my mom i was like hey i have a two-headed dragon and she was like yeah i did that on purpose yeah here's the two-headed dragon that my mom like you know purposely um combined and you can see that like i guess the second piece was um a little bit thin i could probably just rip that off if i wanted to um 
but yeah we're not I'm not gonna get into like that um, but yeah so I experienced some some combining um, like I said I don't know how many locks I have but my mom's like Monet you have a lot of hair and I think you can tell that it's just it's really grown it's thickened up so beautifully um, I absolutely love the volume as normal um, I actually put rollers in it and it looks so good. I'm going to show you guys um, like a tutorial video of how I like roll my hair. Um, but I, I, first of all, I'm just excited about, first of all, I did not experience a lot of breaking, breaking, thinning um, since it had been seven months. The big thing for me that I was washing my hair regularly, I do have a couple of tools and things like maintenance things I do use on my hair to like allow me to not go or to go a very long time without a retie. In the future, I do not want to wait that long um, simply because I mean, that's a huge risk. Like when you don't like give your hair the attention that it needs, I think you're more likely to experience breakage and thinning and like all that bad stuff. So I do feel like I am lucky, but there were some tools and strategies I used to like, you know, um, increase the longevity and healthiness of my hair. One of the strategies that I did use is that I always sleep with a silk pillow. Like, um, first of all, I barely had any lint in my hair and that was like a huge surprise for my mom. Cause first of all, shout out to my mom because she like, put all her love and care into my hair. And I, first of all, I just attribute to the health of my hair um, to my mom solely for that. Um, and I'm just so grateful to have someone in my life that like cares about my hair. Um, and I know like the person who's interlocking your hair, like that's also really important making sure that, you know, your grid's good. And I just know that like, I'm in really great hands when my mom is doing my hair. Um, so I am like leaning away from the idea or concept of getting a loctician just because my mom just does an amazing job and I trust her. So I think trust in your loctician and the person interlocking your hair is so, so important. So that's probably another reason why my hair um, in the grid is like looking really good. But yes, I sleep with a silk pillow and I do, and I always put a bonnet on, like even if I'm just like laying around the house or like just laying down on the couch, I know that lint is a really big thing for people with locks and I do not think I've experienced a lot of lint um, because I'm always putting a bonnet on. Another like easy tip that I use that I don't know if like a lot of people with locks do but I actually use like these type of hair ties. I do not use regular hair ties and I'm sure like I know when I saw like these hair ties first come out I was like that's definitely gonna break out break your hair off like what in the world. But I don't know how the technology or just like the design of it, but literally my hair never comes out when I use this type of hair tie. Um, you can like literally get them from Amazon anywhere. They're pretty popular. Um, but guys, this hair tie with locks, like I, like I said, I've never experienced any shedding hair removal at all. And it works really great. great. It pulls my hair up and I don't experience any breakage. So that's just like two things that I think that have like really attributed to the health of my hair. Um, but without further ado, let's take a deep look at my grid and like see what it's looking like. <laughs> Okay, that's kind of like a deep look um, in my grid and deep look at my hair, another thing. Um, so I know previously like in these updates, I would always be like, yeah, I don't, I still look like a loose natural, like my hair, um, that is not like that anymore. Um, I do not look like a loose natural in my opinion and I look like my hair is fully locked, like it is fully locked. I mean, I'm still able to like take them out, but just like with the amount of hair loss, like I, I feel like my locks are, they are locked fully. Um, my mom says they're probably not like 100% mature. Like she doesn't feel like um, my hair is strong enough to like wear lock jewelry. So maybe at that point when I am able to wear lock jewelry, like boom y'all, I have arrived, my hair is locked. 
but my I'm almost at my two year mark, which is just crazy. Like this has been an amazing journey. Keep a lookout for that two year lock journey visual picture update because um, that will be coming up soon. I know last year when I did my one year update, I was kind of late posting it. So just keep a lookout for that because the pictures are gonna be on point. And you can really see like the evolution of my hair, which I'm so excited, especially from that like point of like being really, really loose to now like looking mature and locked. Um, and like even when I have like my Snapchat like memories and things and I see my hair like a year ago, like my hair, especially at the end, like all the way from here to here was just so loose. Um, and like again how much my hair has thickened up since then is kind of incredible um but i can't wait to show you guys that evolution thanks so much for watching this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see y'all next time